Welcome to the Practical Graphics channel. Today we are going to deal with enlarging photos, that is, it will show you what it takes to make a not so large photo look good on a big poster. As usual, the best way to show this is with an example. Here I have a photo of a dragon's eye with a resolution of 1024 by 1024 points. The simplest way out is to enlarge the photo with some graphics program. We enlarge the photo four times and theoretically we have the problem solved. Theoretically, because the quality of this enlargement is not good, because it simply lacks detail, instead of which we get only fuzzy pixels. So we have to try something else. And this is where programs using artificial intelligence algorithms come to our aid. The first program that can be used is Topaz Gigapixel AI, which uses its own algorithms to enlarge photos. The operation of the program is simple. Upload the photo you want to enlarge, set all options to auto, and run the program. The difference between magnification by a graphics program and Topaz Gigapixel program, as you can see, is very big, because all the details of the photo are visible. And here we could end, but Topaz Gigapixel has one disadvantage, and that is the price, which is $100. So let's try something else. The next program for enlarging photos is the Free Upscale program. Its operation is similar. We upload a photo and run the program. The quality of the enlarged image compared to the test image looks like this. The last program I would like to introduce is also the free program Chinna. Unlike the previous two programs, this is a real combo that allows for very large automated processing of photos, and interestingly, also videos. The operation of this program looks a little different. We have to assemble from blocks what we want the program to do for us. As you can see, there are quite a few possibilities, but let's deal with photo enlargement. First, we choose the module for loading the photo. Then the module zoom in. We still need the algorithm that will be used for this operation. And here we need to stop for a moment. The software uses generally available algorithms for more than just photo enlargement. We can download all available algorithms from this page. And as you can see, there are quite a few of them. Fortunately, they are all very well described. After choosing an algorithm, we still have to choose a module, save the photo, connect everything together and run the program. The effect we get depends on the chosen algorithm. The differences between some of the of them look like this. I forgot to add that Chinna allows us to use several algorithms simultaneously, the results of which we can mix. So we can come to very interesting results, so I encourage you to try.
Links to the programs are in the descriptions under the video. If you liked the video please subscribe to our channel.